Here's a 1961 RCA Victor portable record player that I recently picked up, well, about a year ago, if you call that recent. And I'm just now getting around to looking at it. And you know how it is when you got too many projects and not enough time. But this is a four speed automatic record player, and it's mono. And I still have the have a 45 RPM stacker for it. This didn't actually come with it. I just happened to have it on hand. But this was probably RCA's cheapest automatic record player for 1961. It has controls for volume and tone. Plays 16, 33, 45, and 78 RPM. It has a two-tube amplifier consisting of a 35W4 rectifier and a 50C5 output tube driven by a 3-volt crystal cartridge. Now the better record players usually had a something like a 12AV6 preamp stage with a better half a volt or one volt cartridge but these cheaper models, they cut cost any way they can, so it's one way they could do it. So, unfortunately, most of these old cartridges are bad by now, and even the new old stock ones are, are oftentimes no good. So, the way I get around that is I will install a current production one volt cartridge. And I will add a preamp stage based on something like a 12AV6 or 6AV6 tube. And that provides plenty enough gain to, in order to use a modern cartridge with these old players. I've already removed the screws and have actually looked under here, but open it up again here so you can see what's under the hood. There's the amplifier. You can see not much to it. And plenty enough room under there if, uh, should I choose to add that additional preamp stage that I mentioned. Underside of the record changer and you can't see it but it's got a small four inch speaker in there. Like I said, this was probably RCA's cheapest automatic portable. And look here. These wires run down to the speaker. And it's... I don't know who worked on this, but they obviously didn't know what they were doing. I suspect that what happened was that the original output transformer went bad. And instead of replacing the transformer, they just connected the speaker directly to the output tube, which is really a no-no. Because the output tube, the, the uh, 50C5 output tube, is a high impedance device. I mean, that's the purpose for the output transformer. It matches the high impedance of the tube to the low impedance of the speaker voice coil which is typically in the 3.2 to 8 ohm range so I'm sure this 50C5 really doesn't like seeing a a 3.2 ohm load across it so I'll have to dig around through my junk and find an output transformer it really shouldn't be too difficult and recap this thing and we'll see what it does. I've already cycled the record changer manually and the record changer functions seem to be in pretty good shape. It will need an idler wheel because somebody left it in gear and there's a flat spot in the original idler wheel that causes a thump 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 noise as the platter rotates. But anyway Next time you see this, I hope to have it in operation. I still can't get over this, though. Some people just need to leave stuff alone, you know?